This is my beautiful 2021 Kailami Green Audi TT RS. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you all of my secrets and going through a full car mod list for what's coming up and what the game plan is. Let's get into it. <laughs> I got my car safely in the shop. You can tell I've set up an entire area for this because this is a huge video and I got a lot of boxes to unpack. Like I said, I'm gonna be giving you guys all the secrets, the entire big picture and game plan for my TTRS. Literally everything is in boxes behind me and that's not it. We got some right there, there are my dogs. We got more boxes there, we got more boxes there. There's a lot to unbox here, and that's why I wanted to have a video solely dedicated to that so you guys know the entire picture of what is coming up for this build. I'm so excited about this car. It's my first Audi that I've ever owned, and it's gonna really be one of the first cars that I try and go for a record, hit the drag strip with, and I'm excited to tell you guys more about 034 Motorsport. I've been geeking out with them about Audi stuff for a couple months now, and we are finally about to start on everything. What is crazy is that I don't even know everything that's behind me, okay? They just kept sending me packages. Even if it's stuff that I might not be doing immediately to the car, they're like, we're gonna send you everything so you are set. So I got this car and immediately I told you guys I was not gonna modify it. I was gonna keep it stock and daily reliable. My biggest thing is that I needed a reliable daily. I wanted a fun car that I could possibly lightly tune and still have it be reliable. Now, after owning the car for a while and just starting to meet more people in the Audi community, I've learned that this is such a great platform to more than just like tune a little bit. Like if you bolt on mods and you can make so much more power and just have the car be way more enjoyable. When I first started making my list of everything that I wanted to do, that list got long real, real fast, okay? At first it started off with a tune and then I'm like, well, if I'm gonna get a tune, I might as well do downpipe and then if I'm gonna do that, maybe we put the car at E85, just see how she does. And if you do that, you need a whole different injector setup. And then if we're gonna do that, you know, I'm gonna eventually start to need a Haldex controller to control the all-wheel drive system. And then if I do that, I'm gonna wanna get a transmission tune. Like, it was just, I made this list though, and around that same time, 034 Motorsport reached out to me and our first call together, we just geeked out about Audi TTRS stuff. And I knew right then and there that I wanted to work with those guys. Shout out 034 Motorsport. Like, the guys there are awesome. And not only do they test and engineer all their own parts, but they put them to the real test as well on the racetrack, at the drag strip, and in addition to developing actual performance parts, they also do tuning. So they have your full stage one through stage three tunes for this build. Also the Haldex and transmission tunes that you need, like they literally just have this whole car sorted. So I am so excited to announce that I am working with 034 Motorsport to advise everything I do with this car. So a little bit about 034 Motorsport. They are primarily a Volkswagen Audi performance parts company. Now they also do a bunch of like OE replacement parts for components that commonly fail or just are problematic. They make everything from full suspension mods and components to big turbo kits. And like I said, they have their own tuning software for this platform as well. There is so many things coming up and I thought, you know, 
why drag it out? I'm already gonna do videos for every mod that I do here so you guys understand the process and we're gonna be doing a lot of testing along the way. So I thought why not make an unboxing video because they sent me all of this stuff at once which was just so exciting it felt like Christmas. Why not make an unboxing video, kind of talk you guys through my general game plan for this car and go from there. Shout out and huge thank you again to 034 Motorsport for really helping me navigate this new platform to me. It's my first Audi and the TTRS in general is brand new to me. I'm kind of learning as I go and I'm just getting more and more excited for it. I'm going to stop rambling on and get to some unboxing because we got a lot of stuff to get through. Got my little puppies. Oh, they're so cute. Rally, are you a model? We're gonna start with these. I'm not even sure of everything that is behind me or what they sent me and in what order. They just told me to be on the lookout because a lot of packages were about to be heading my way. So I'm gonna be figuring out what's in these boxes along with you guys. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, I'm just gonna start with this tiny package that I have because it's right in front of me. Also, I've officially decided that this is my unboxing knife. I love it and it's cute and now it's my unboxing knife. <laughs> first package. Oops. All right, first package we have some subframe bolts. I think these are for the rear. Yeah, rear subframe bolts. This one has been driving me crazy because so I have no idea what it could be. Wait, this feels like a steering wheel box. I don't, I don't think it would be a steering wheel. That doesn't, that doesn't make sense. These are control arms for the rear. Um, um maybe. It's very tinny. Maybe something for the exhaust. Oh. Here we go, part of the exhaust. I'm gonna keep this wrapped up. I think I know what boxes the other pieces are in. All right, sick, so we got some parts for the exhaust right here. Because I'm not putting them on right now, I'm gonna keep them wrapped. I think maybe downpipe, the more exhaust stuff is in here. Hey. yes, okay, here we go. Downpipe, right here. This is gonna make my car sound so good. Damn, look at that casting. Fresh. Got the 034 on there too. Beautiful. I think this is probably gonna be the first mod that I do the car. So coming up very soon, I wanna throw this guy on there and the rest of the exhaust. I just wanna see how good this car is going to sound. Some of the videos I've heard, like this car can sometimes sound like a V10, all right? Package number four, downpipe. Let me do this next because I'm just super curious. Ugh. I think these are rotors. Like, I don't know what else would be this heavy. I knew it, these are rotors. So these are just upgraded two piece rotors for the car. I have a massive stack of boxes over there. Hell yes, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Oh, yes. This said right front on it. Well, there was one other super heavy box. I actually think it's that one. So that probably has the rear two-piece rotors in them. It makes the car look so much better, especially when you get a nice set of wheels and you just see these peeking out. I'm stoked on this. I actually didn't even know they were sending the two-piece rotors too. I feel like this is maybe like on my wish list. I'm telling you, they make everything. I'm gonna read off the list. 
because a lot of it is hardware. So we got two strut bearings. We got motor mount, and I believe they gave me the one that's not the full track version, but they're one that's like their high performance street cross track version. So there's just a little bit less vibration and it's not full race car mode. A fuse box cover, <laughs> carbon fiber fuse box cover. It says street sport mount. Maybe that's for the transmission. End links for the front. Uh, bushings for the subframe. Oh, the special tool you need for the drive shaft removal. Uh, a couple hardware kits, catch can kit, and a tow hook kit. Two of them. Oh, this is that special like drive shaft removal tool that you need. Heavy duty. Let's hope I don't actually ever uh, need this guy. Our tow hook. They sent me two of these. This is their catch can kit. This is really nice. It mounts up probably to some already pre-drilled spots in the car. It's really like a low profile. I like that. Oh, a bunch of hardware struts. They've thought out like every single thing that I'm gonna need for this car. Here's my carbon fiber fuse box cover. They know I care about aesthetics too. I appreciate that. First mod is gonna be this carbon fiber cover. First TTRS mod right here. Are we ready for it? Boom. Dude, this is definitely the nicest engine bay on any car that I own. It's just so clean. One of my very first things that I wanna do is downpipe and exhaust. And in that same time frame, do the tune as well, and possibly like some cosmetic stuff, so lowering springs and any other maybe cosmetic bits that I wanna put on the car. That's basically stage one for me. That's the game plan, at least for the first like official thing I wanna do to the car, see how it feels. And then from there, start really getting into tuning the Haldex or the transmission, see how that changes the whole dynamic of the car, even just on like a stage one tune. Thought I would tell you guys that since I finished um, unboxing the downpipe already, and that is one of the first things that I'll be doing to the car. And the intake, duh. This thing is like suffocating the car right now. These are top hats, I believe, for the struts that have like a pre-adjusted camber to them. So like I said, they do a lot of testing themselves and they deem that this is like the optimal best additional camber that you can get out of strut positioning. So instead of having it be fully adjustable, they just put it into a fixed position that they determined was ideal. So you can see this is the top hat, and instead of it being in the center, it's just offset a bit. We got ourselves two of these and the hardware. Number six. Stuff. This is both a mount for the engine and the transmission. So this is for better performance, less slop. Now this will transfer slightly more vibration like to the chassis itself, but it still has rubber on the inside. So I don't think this is their full like track version to just make it a lot nicer to drive on your daily on the street. But Engine mount, transmission mounts, upgraded check. I'll probably put those on maybe around the time that I'd be going to like stage two. So this is motor mount as well. The way it looks, it looks like it's just to hold the motor maybe from like tilting at an angle. Once you reach higher and higher horsepower, it's likely to have more just engine movement. All these parts too, like I'm gonna be going into detail and talking to 034 about them in the actual video that I will be installing this on the car. This is kind of generally my unboxing video, first impressions and figuring out all the stuff that I got. Got some adjustable toe arms. Why don't we go with this one next? 
Box number seven. Lucky number seven. What do we got? It says fragile on it. So I shake it. Makes sense. Ooh, it's something carbon fiber. I just, I just can tell. You know what this is? I bet this is an engine cover. Look. It's carbon fiber. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Is it time for another mod? I love carbon fiber. I think I'm gonna end up doing like a carbon fiber spoiler on the car. They also have like some other carbon fiber bits for the front as well. Love it, and I love the cutout for the RS logo. Boom, mod number two officially on the TTRS. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get through these a little faster because I don't want like a half hour unboxing movie. <laughs> Woo Here we go. Lowering springs. At least initially, I wanna keep the Magna Ride. I like having my little drive modes, even in comfort, like, Surprisingly, the TTRS is on the stiffer side, especially for being in its stock form, which I don't mind. Like, I like a car being on the stiffer side. I just feel like you get a lot more driver feel. And surprisingly, I feel like in other Audis that I've driven, they usually lean a lot more on the softer side. Adam's RS6 was that way when I drove it. So I was very surprised when the TTRS drove way more on the stiffer side, even in comfort mode. How do you lower the car so it sits better and looks a lot better, but still keep those modes? You just do lowering springs. Yep, 034 also has these. Like I told you, they had everything that I wanted to do to this car on my list. So this is their trailing arms that they offer for the TTRS. Now, where I'm gonna feel this the most is definitely on the track in terms of handling. You know, the car is gonna feel a lot more planted. The suspension is gonna be able to work better. And there won't be a lot of deflection and loss from like bushing slop that just gives you a more number feeling, especially when you're grip driving or on a racetrack. Just more suspension and performance handling mods for the TTRS. <sighs> All right, box number 10. Should I cheat? Should I just look at the packing list? Cable, flashing gear to get those tunes, coil spring sleeves, dog bone insert, dog bone mount, end link kit, spark plugs, engine cover set. Oh, engine hardware, sick! Stickers and some merch, what? All right. So hold up, hold up, hold up. Now that I got the merch, let me be more on theme for this video. All right, there we go. This is a little better. I did another outfit change. Now let's keep going. This is mostly a super cool swag box. Shirts, hoodies, glasses. We've got jet tags, actual drinking glasses, beer opener, both license plate cover and holder. I think this might be a sway bar. Let's find out. Box number 11, rear track sway bar. Hey, get that out We got our adjustable rear sway bar. This is kind of light. Every time the packages that say fragile, I'm just shaking. Maybe more carbon fiber stuff? It's a carbon fiber. This is something I'm super excited about. It's their full cold air intake system and it's beautiful. Adding even more carbon fiber to the bag. Yes. 
Boom. for the TTRS. The only thing off the top of my head that I didn't find is their injector upgrade kit that I will need when going E85 and for some of the higher stage tunes. What you can't visually see is just that they make all the stage tunes. They do all the tuning for this platform and I'm gonna be working exclusively with them for that as well. We have some really exciting stuff coming up for this car that I'll get more into in later videos, but this is a general overview of the direction I will be going with this car. And I'm gonna be taking you guys along the way for the entire journey. We're gonna be testing these parts out piece by piece as I put them on the car. And ultimately I will have a very cool goal that we're gonna try and reach with this car. I will say right now, like I don't plan to do any sort of turbo upgrade or engine upgrades internally. Keeping the car mostly stock, except for some bolt-ons and the tuning that I'll be doing with them. That is my plan, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are just getting even more stoked for what's to come. So look at the mess that I have made. 